Hello everyone, you are welcome to New Face Entertainment where you will get reliable and authentic news that will keep you informed and entertained. I say a very big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe and if you are here to subscribe, please click the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for notifications so you will always get alerted anytime we publish latest news or any of our other uploads hello beautiful people welcome back to new face entertainment now we want to take a look at another renowned Yoruba actress Beju Okumola we're going to take a look at our family our husband our career and some of the things that you never knew about her Kwechu Ugumola Omobolanle is one actress that doesn't seem to like being in the news. You would hardly ever find her granting interviews or being the subject of speculations. And this seems to be the newsman's grounds with her as they think she is either a snub or that she doesn't know how best to express herself with them. But whatever the case, one thing is certain. Beju is a talented actress and in this video you will get to find out many interesting things about her that you never knew before. Beju Ogumala, who is she? Beju Ogumala was born in the 1960s and she is the daughter of stage legend Kola Ogumala. She is also sister to Yomi Ogumola, another popular Yoruba actor. It will be recorded that Yomi Ogumola passed on in the year 2003. A marriage. Wetu is married to the iconic comic actor, director, and producer Sunday Omobolanle, popularly called Papa Lue. She married him as a second wife and their union has produced a son, Shola. Now let's talk briefly about Papa Luwe, if you are wondering, that is Beju's husband. Sunday Omobolanle aka Papa Luwe was born on the 1st of October 1954 at Elora, a town in Oyo State in the southwestern Nigeria. Sunday has been featured in several movies. He has also been involved in many stage plays. Also, Sunday has script, directed, and produced several movies, some of which include Adu, Ewuro, Konko Bilo, and Oba Alatishe. Papi Luwe was recently honored with the National Award MON by Olushegu, the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In case you are wondering where Papi Luwe got his name from, this is the story behind the name. According to him, Aluwe was given to him by his late boss, Baba Mero. In the time past, he used to be very social and he never missed KSA show at Aria Hotel. In the course of these shows, KSA used to sing for him and some point, at some point, the musician added Papi to the name Baba Meru had initially given him, hence the name Papi Luwe. Papi Luwe has four children with his two wives. His first wife, Kudurat Folashade, had three children for him, one of which is an actor as well, Sukomi. Sukomi has two sisters, Kemi Olayemi and Victoria Belu. It will be recalled that Papilue's first wife, Kudurat, passed on in the year 2006. Let's take a moment to talk about Sukomi Omobolanli. Oftentimes, people often refer to Sukomi as Peju's son, but this isn't correct. Sukomi is actually the son of Papilue's first wife, Kudurat Falashadi. If you don't know Sukomi Omobolanli, we're going to take a look at his brief profile. 
Tsukame is a graduate of business administration from the Olabisi Onobanjo University in Ogun State. He seems to be the only child that has followed the career path of his father. Interestingly, Sukomi has grown to become a prominent face in many Yoruba movies and has also gone to produce his own movies. Initially, Sukomi's father didn't want him to act and this is what Papa Lewis said about his son's acting career in a recent interview. According to Pedro's husband, Sukomi began acting when he was 9 years old, but when he went to the military school in Zaria and came back, he decided to focus on acting fully. Initially, Papi Lue didn't want him to become an actor because the remuneration in the acting industry was really poor at that time. But the young man insisted on following his passion and as they say, the rest is history. Sukami is currently married to Is Bill Abimbola Omobolanle. Abimbola is a Dublin based businesswoman. Their dating story is quite interesting as Sukomi claimed that they dated for 19 years before tying the knot. How Kweju met her husband. In an interview with Cedar People, Pablo Well revealed how he met Kweju and how long it took her to agree to his proposal. At that time, Peju's dad's home was an abode for many young entertainers as it was like a father to many of them. Often times, after traveling all over the country for stage plays, their return base was Pa Ogumola's house. Peju was a young girl at that time and Pa Beluwe used to joke with her that he would marry her, although he was married at that time. As expected, Peju would scorn his jokes and respond by saying she wasn't interested in marrying him. But after a long time of resistance, she eventually agreed to his overtures and they got married. Their marriage is almost three decades now. Peju has revealed before their marriage that she fell in love with Papa Luwe and was convinced about marrying him because he seemed to speak more boldly about his marriage plans with her at that time than our other toasters. Fear of press. There are speculations in the media that Pedro has an aversion for newsmen. According to a press statement, it has been observed that Pedro seems to intentionally avoid newsmen. These reports in the press have alighted several occasions where Kweju had deliberately dodged questions posed at her by newsmen. Most times she would just walk straight to her seat without uttering a word. Even when she is working on a new project or movie, nothing has ever been heard from the camp of this veteran actress. This has made many of them think that she is not confident in the use of language, especially English. Interestingly, she doesn't seem to have a problem facing photojournalists as she is always on hand to take photographs with them. As expected, Pedro hasn't responded to these allegations. She seems to have kept with her unspoken decision not to grant interviews to journalists. Latest event. In July 2017, Pedro Ogumola and Tuvasi Odosi were guests at the Oshun State University, Uni Oshun. The program was tagged Uni Oshun Illumination and it was from the 20th to 22nd of July. The show featured empowerment sessions, talk shows, celebrity interviews, award presentation, dance music and drama. Other guests at the show include Samsi Braima, Temitope Balogun, Professor Kizitu, Ore Ofe Williams, Sheung Fagbemi, Simbans, Niyi Adebanjo, Sizdab and others. Here you are learning new things you don't know about the veteran actress Weiju Ogumala. Thank you for watching. See you some other time. 
Bye-bye now.